Hey everybody, uh, welcome to some Minecraft. We're going to look at some examples and use math or use Minecraft to learn some math. So let's see, where am I? There's a house I have and uh, some trees. Let's, what is this black thing over here? Oh, looks like a portal. I wonder what happens if I go through. Oh, I'm in a different place now. Well, let's go down here and see what happens. Oh, wow. I can run pretty fast on this stuff. Elevator going up. Oh, here's another portal. Oh, here's some nice friends. Hey, guys. Oh, don't go through there. And we're... Oh, look. It's our classroom. We'll be back here soon enough. And let's see what we're going to learn today. Lesson 6.7, Simplify Expressions. All right, let's go uh, out to the playground and see if we can learn something from that. <laughs> Gotta close the door. Room 24, that's me. All right, so here we have our little playground. And look, now I know this is something we've done before, but it's always good to do it with Minecraft. So we have uh, three different things here. We have diamond, this is called sea glass, and this is gold. Diamond, sea glass, gold. So right now we have two diamonds plus one sea glass plus three gold plus four diamond plus three sea glass plus two gold. So how can we simplify that? Meaning putting all the golds together, all the sea glass, and all the diamonds together. Let's see if we can do that right now. Ready, go. Right, so if we combine it, we will have two plus four, we'll have six diamonds, we'll have five gold, and we'll have four sea glass. Awesome. Let's try that with one more kind of experiment. All right, so let's go look at another example. Let's come over here. Oh, look, here's some other things. So now we have... We have two gold plus two TNT plus three diamond plus one gold plus two diamond plus two TNT. So written like this, here's what it looks like. 2G plus 2T plus 3D plus 1G plus 2D plus 2T. So now if we combine them all and put all the like things together, what do we get? Right, we would get three gold or three G, four TNT, uh, we get, and five diamond. All right, now what happens if I shoot a flaming arrow into the TNT? Hmm, I wonder. Hmm, I wonder if something's gonna happen. Uh oh. Hey, this one didn't blow up. Well, that was exciting. All right, let's go back to the classroom and look at our uh, lesson for today. It should be pretty easy because it's very similar to what we've been doing. Oh, there's a creeper. Don't shoot the creeper or he might blow up our school. All right, hey, where's, where are all my students? Oh, someone's taking a nap in the back of the class. Wouldn't it be nice if we had a bed in our classroom and you could just take a nap whenever you wanted? The teachers would be sleeping all day long. All right, here we go. Time for math. All right, everybody, let's go to page 496 in your book. 496. And this is just a continuation of what we've been doing, so this should not be too difficult. So let's look at the first example on page 496. It says simplify the expression four times six X. Uh, up to now, we've been mostly doing things with uh, addition, but now we're gonna do with multiplication too. So four times six X means four times six times X. And as we learned from uh, the associative property, when you're doing all multiplication, the grouping doesn't matter. So it means I could just do the four times six first and then do times X. So I could do four times six is 24. 
x. So 4 times 6x is 24x. Got it? So let's try these. So let's try letter A. And remember, because it's all multiplication or all addition, the order doesn't matter and the grouping doesn't matter. Got it? So you try letter A, hint, just forget about the parentheses and you can rearrange the order. Ready, go. All right, so for this, three times x times 11, or three x times 11, you just multiply the numbers. So this should be 33 x, because three times 11 is 33 times x is 33 x. Now you try letter B, this should be pretty easy. Ready, go. Well, x times x times x, that's the same as three times x, so it's just three x. Wow, this is great. All right, and now let's try letter C. Ready, go. All right, so this is just like what we're doing in the Minecraft example or the things we did the other day with the fruit. So I have 7x plus 8 plus x. We're going to put like terms together. So this is 7x plus one more x would make this 8x plus 8. 8x plus 8. Awesome. All right, so let's look at example two at the bottom of the page. Here it says three friends will pay X dollars each. So I'm going to underline that. It's important that it's three friends and they pay X dollars each for admission to the museum plus one dollar each to view the mummy exhibit. So let's just do that part for now. So each person is paying X dollars plus they're paying another one dollar, right? So there's three people doing that. So that means it's this whole thing, it's gonna be times three. So we write it like that. Three times X plus one, because they're each paying X dollars, because we don't know exactly how much the museum costs. So we're calling it X, but we know they have to pay an extra $1 for the mummy. Now a fourth friend, so that's one more friend, will pay admission, which we know is X is admission, but not view the mummy exhibit. So he's not paying the one. So that means we have to write, uh, one more x here, three times the quantity x plus one plus x, right? So, let, and that's also what we have right here. So now what we have to do is we're going to combine the terms. So the first thing we want to do is we want to do the multiplying, right? Because, you know, multiplying comes before addition. So, uh, three times x. You guys remember how to do these? That's 3x plus, and we do 3 times 1 is 3, but now we just bring this plus x down. So now we have to simplify, right? So I see I have a 3x and an x. If I add those together, that becomes 4x, or 4x dollars, plus, and the 3 just comes down. So it's 4x dollars times 3. Got it? So that's, you can put a dollar sign next to them if you want, 4x dollars plus $3. All right, so let's look at the, uh, the got it problem. See if you can do this yourself. So this is going to be similar. We're going to use the same information as the other one, but this time there's going to be six friends who go to the museum, but only four friends want to view the mummy. So remember, if you're viewing the mummy, you still have to pay X dollars to get into the museum, plus you pay one dollar for the mummy right whereas if you are just going to the museum that's going to be you're just paying x so x is the admission into the museum so we know that four friends are viewing the mummy and the museum so that means that's going to be a four and if we know that there were six people going all together well if four are viewing the mummy how many are not viewing the mummy that would be two got it all right so now what i want you guys to do is See if you can simplify this expression by combining like terms. You're going to have to do the multiplying first, do this multiplying first, and then combine like terms. Ready, go. All right, so what you should have done is 4 times x is 4x plus 4 times 1 is 4. And then this part, you're just going to bring it down plus 2x. Great. Now what we have to do is we have to combine those terms. So I see we have a 4x and a 2x, which would be 6x, and the plus 4 just remains plus 4. So you should have 6x plus 4 
dollars. The whole thing is dollars. All right, excellent. All right, so now we're on page 497, 497. And so this is stuff that we've done before. So I'm gonna go through it a little bit fast because you know how to do it. So on number four, the example says, um, simplify four times two X plus Y. The only difference is that we have two variables here. So you know that you're gonna do four times two X, look, four times two X is gonna be eight X plus four times Y is four Y. That's pretty easy, right? Um, and the other thing that you got to remember is factoring with these variables. So if I have 27 X plus 18 Y, first I'm going to figure out, remember you're going to end up with something times the quantity something plus something. So what's the biggest number that fits in both 27 and 18? That would be nine. And 27 X divided by nine is like 27 divided by nine is three. But because there's an X in there, the X just stays there. And then 18 divided by nine is two, but it's not just 18, it's 18 Y. So then the Y stays there. Got it? All right, you try letter E. Ready, go. Okay, so this is pretty easy. You have three X plus nine Y plus two X. You combine the X's. Three X plus two X is gonna be five X plus nine Y plus nine y. It's really important. Don't forget to put the variables in there. If you did five x plus nine, that would be wrong. If you if you leave out the variables, that's a big problem. All right, so now let's try letter F. Letter F is like what we just did above. Ready, go. All right, so you should have had seven times three x is 21 x right? And that's 21x and 7 times y, it's just like 7 times 1y is 7y. 21x plus 7y. All right, last one on this page. Let's do, you're going to factor 12x plus 8y. So as a reminder, you're going to have something times the quantity, something plus something, okay? So letter G, ready, go. Okay, so the biggest thing that fits into both 12 and 8 is 4, right? So 4 goes into 12x. How many times? It goes in 3, but don't forget there's an x, so that means the x is part of your answer too. Same with the y. 4 goes into 8y. Well, 4 goes into 8 two times, and you just leave the y there with it. So you should have 4 times the quantity, 3x plus 2y. Practice saying that out loud. It's really important. All right, so now we're on page 498, 498, and we're going to do the guided practice, and let's try number one. Remember when it says five quantity 6x, this means five times 6x. Ready, go. All right, that, this one should be pretty easy. Five times six is 30, and the x just stays there, so it's 30x. Okay, now let's try number two. Combine these like terms. Ready, go. All right, so you have a 2x and a 7x. That means add them together and it's 9x and the 5 plus 5y just stays plus 5y. And let's do number three. Ready, go. All right, so this is 4 times 2 is 8 and the x just stays x. And then you do 4 times 5 plus 4 times 5 is 20. And don't forget you have to have the y in there. Great. All right, so now we have to factor 35 and 28. So again, as a little hint, you're going to have something, mm, something plus something, and you have to find the biggest number that fits into there. So what's, you got to know your times table. So this, what could it be? And ready, go. All right. So you should know that seven is the biggest number that fits into 35 and 28 or the greatest common factor. And 35 divided by seven is five. Don't forget, you have to have the X there. Plus 28 divided by seven is four. And the Y that's here just stays a Y in your answer. So seven times the quantity, five X plus four Y. Awesome. Let's try number five. I'll read this with you to kind of help underline stuff. Michaela bought five skirts at X dollars each. Three of the five skirts came with a matching top for an additional nine dollars each. Write and simplify an expression that represents the total cost of her purpose. 
pur purpose purchase. Okay, so let's see. She bought five skirts with X dollars, and three of the five came with a matching top for nine dollars. Hmm, what could that be? So she bought five skirts at nine dollars. So three. So you had some of the skirts were uh, X. So X is how much the skirts were. And three of them came with something for $9, right? So that's three. We had three that were skirt plus uh, skirt with top. So th these are the ones that skirt plus top. It's X plus nine over three of them like that. And then there was another one. Oh, because there was three of the skirts, but she bought five, which means that there was two more that were just the skirt. So plus two skirts, skirts are X. Just make believe skirt means X. Skirt, because we're gonna call that X. So here it is. So simplify this and tell me um, what was, oh, and what was the uh, expression that shows how much these were? Ready, go. All right, so step one is we have to multiply this out. So three times X is three X, three times nine is 27 plus that two X, right? So you have three X plus 27 plus two X. So you should have three X plus two X is five X plus 27. Got it? Now I'm going to give you an extra bonus that will give you so many points. I'm going to say now that the skirts, instead of being X dollars each, let's say that X equals $10. So if the skirts were $10, how much did Michaela spend all together? If X is $10, ready, go. All right, so you should figure out that if X is 10, that means five times 10 is 50 plus 27 is $77 on clothes, which is about more than I spend in clothes in a whole year. Okay, so that's all I have for you right now, I believe, and um, see you later.